Who's there? Emil, is that you? Where is Haladan? Is he all right? Auriel, forgive me. Please listen carefully. Emil did not murder Haladon. I swear it. The two of them only sought to help me. I suffered from a mysterious affliction. Haladon and Emil infected me with vampirism to halt the disease's progress. Gods, no! I came here with my companion Gerwadel. By the time we arrived, her illness was terminal. Emile tried to administer the cure to her too, but she broke free and attacked Holodon. There was so much shouting. I th thought maybe they escaped. Stone abominations. Vampiric alchemy. If the Sapiarchs found out that Holodon had a hand in this tragedy, they would strike his name from the histories. Emile would never let that happen. Read Haladon's notes, you'll see the truth of it. Hurry to Lelandro, prove Emile's innocence. I'll find my way. Somehow. Again? I told you, I don't want to talk about this. I'm guilty. What? No. No, you're mistaken. No, 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 no! You can't believe her. She's, um... She's lying. I attacked Haladon. I killed him. You're making this up. No one will believe it! No. Please, you must burn those notes. If the Sapiarchs learn what Haladon and I did, he'll be ruined. Disgraced. All his work will be for nothing. And Norasea. Mara, save me. Poor Norasea. They'll kill her. Please, you must keep this a secret. By Magnus. If what you say is true, Emile's innocent. You seem hesitant. Don't get bogged down in the details of his experiments. The important thing is that he didn't murder Haladon. You have to take this to the Sapiarchs. She's a vampire. I grew up in Shornhelm, and I know how dangerous they are. They drink people's blood for Mara's sake. Look, I pity Norasea, but we can't destroy Emile's life over one bad decision. Setting a vampire free is reckless. You know that. Haladon's dead. And if he truly loved Emil, he would gladly suffer humiliation to keep his beloved out of prison. You know that. As for the guild, the guild endures. We'll be fine. Just do the right thing. Poor Emil. He meant well. But these are shocking revelations. I never thought he'd be so reckless. Creating a potion to deliberately infect someone with vampirism? By the eight. If this gets out, the Sapiarchs may never trust us again. I care for Emil, but I have a whole guild to consider. We've brought many outsiders to Somerset, and our relations here are tenuous at best. 
even if Emile didn't murder Haladan, creating a potion this hazardous is still grounds for exile. I spoke to Sapiarch Saratarel. If Emile makes a full confession, the Sapiarchs will let us handle the details of his imprisonment. I've arranged for Emile to return to Stormhaven. A familiar setting, sympathetic guards. It's the best I can do. No, but then there are many forms of freedom, wouldn't you agree? Emile will have access to our vast library and ample opportunity to write and publish. He can still play a vital role in the advancement of the arcane arts. You have my word. There's nothing to consider. Even if I didn't kill Haladon, the vampirism was my idea. He never would have agreed to it if I hadn't pushed him. Haladon meant more to me than you'll ever know. His memory is all I have left. Don't ruin it. Please. Oh, Mara bless you. Losing Haladon was awful. I still see his bloody face with my waking eyes. The only thing keeping me sane is the knowledge that I might spare his reputation and the friend he dearly loved. Thank you for this. Apparently a group of Fighters Guild soldiers got ambushed and taken to a prison. You have new evidence to present? Very well. I trust your investigation was thorough and unbiased? Or rather, as thorough and unbiased as an itinerant newcomer can manage. What new evidence do you wish to enter into the official record? Well, that is a surprise. As farcical as your investigation might have been, I appreciate your willingness to side with the facts. It does much to restore my opinion of the Mage's Guild in Lilandril. I've already spoken with the Guild diplomat, Kalawende. We resolved to send Emil back to Stormhaven. Leaving a Breton to rattle around in a high elf prison would reflect poorly on all of us. Better to imprison him among his own kind. Mercifully, yes. The Mage's Guild promised to imprison Emil for the rest of his brief Breton life. I have no reason to doubt their sincerity, given your honesty today. Let us put this matter behind us. The Guild and the Sapiarchs must move forward. Now, I see no reason to delay Emile's exile. I will formalize his conviction today, have him turned over to the Mages' Guild shortly thereafter. This sordid affair has caused enough pain. I'll not draw it out. Your honesty and Kalawende's willingness to accede to our demands give me hope for the future. The Mages' Guild suffers from all the vices of youth, but perhaps, with our help, it can grow into an organization worthy of its proud high elf heritage. <laughs>